Hey guys, what's up? It's Adam for FakeC79.com, and today we're going to be making a uh, conditional button. I don't know. Um, I don't really know what you would call this, but uh, it can be basically used to create passwords or combinations or like um, to check for something. Um, the commands we're going to be learning is uh, if, and, then, and else. Um, pretty basic commands, but I haven't done a Visual Basic tutorial in a while, and this can be applied to a lot of really cool things. So I'll go ahead and run the first example here. So basically, this comes up with a forum that has uh, six checkbox, check, six checkbox on it, boxes on it, and uh, you can see here the combination is one four five. You probably wouldn't want to tell people that if you were going to make a program like this, but we'll go ahead and check one, four, and five, hit check, and then it comes up with the correct. Now if we were to uncheck one of those, the correct would go away because all of them aren't checked. If we were to throw one other check into the mix, then it wouldn't work. If we were to have like everything unchecked, then it wouldn't work. You kind of get the point. Um, so we'll go on to the next example. This one is the same general idea, but this one uses a password. This one's actually a little bit easier to make, so it's cool. Um, so it says here the password is pancakes. So if we enter pen, oop, cakes, hit check password, it says correct. If we enter pancakes, not correct. Anything else is incorrect. So we'll go ahead and get into making these. So we'll start with the first one because that kind of teaches you a little bit more about it and then we can just apply that to the password. Um, so we'll pull out, let's just use three checkboxes here so we're not going crazy. <clears throat> then we need a button and also a label. We actually need, nah, just one. It will work. We'll put that right there. Alright, so we'll name checkbox one. Uh, we'll name that uh, A1. And then... Checkbox 2 will be a 2. Checkbox 3 will be a 3. Don't ask me why I'm doing that. It just works that way. So we'll name the label just label. Just to make it a little bit easier. <clears throat> and then we'll double click on the button. And oh, one more thing. Go to label. Well, I forgot to change it in the first place, but let's say correct. And let's actually make one more that says incorrect. I just use control uh, C and control V to copy and paste. Alright, so we'll just put these two on top of each other. And now we will make this small and simple. And then button one. We're gonna type if A or A1. Oh, we'll make the password, let's say, 1-3. So, if a1.checked equals true, and, why is this all messed up? Fine, sometimes you just need to retype things, and then they'll go away. Um, if checked equals true, and, uh, a two dot checked equals false, and a three dot checked equals true. Then, so that'll make it only if this is um, the case that uh, label one dot um, visible equals true, and label two dot visible equals false. That way, it'll show up. This is correct. What's that? Label 2. Let's see. Sometimes you need to rename things. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's label 1. And this is just label. Oh, yeah, that's right. I probably shouldn't have done that because I'm just screwing myself up. So this is label dot visible. And this is label 1 dot visible. You gotta name them exactly what they are or else it won't work. Okay, so that'll make sure it says correct if it's correct, and then false if it's false. And then we'll make an else, so it tells it what to do if there's anything other than that. It'll say label.visible equals false, and label two dot, er, one dot visible equals true. Then we'll go back here and make both of these labels uh, f 
uh, visible false by default. So that way they don't show up when you start the program, only when uh, it tells them to. So let's go ahead and run this. <clears throat> As you can see, you can't not see any of the labels because they're false. And then if we check 1 and 3, so say correct. If you throw anything else in, it'll say incorrect. And so on and so forth, I guess. So yeah, that's the first one. Pretty simple. So let's do the second one real quick. This one's a lot easier, uh, but uh, the other one helps you learn what's going on more. Um, so this time I'm going to bring in two text boxes actually, just so we can use the AND and get a little bit more practice with that. And we'll bring in two labels, actually three. So label one will be enter password one. We'll actually need password 2 let's place in there and then make the button check we'll say correct and correct all right so we'll make both of these visible false and visible false and then what we'll do is double click the check button say if oops uh, text box one dot text equals um, pancakes and text box two dot text equals waffles then label oh, let's see it's label three I think uh, yeah dot visible equals true label four dot visible this equals false and else Label four dot visible equals false or um, true, and label three dot visible can't type today equals false. All right, so now now if we type in pancakes and waffles. Oh, I think I reversed the uh, the labels. Let's see. Oh wow, I'm messing up the uh, label names. Let's see. This is one of the things that's bad about this program is it doesn't label two is correct and label three is correct. So they name in the them in the order that you create them. And since I created this one last, it was messing me up. So label two is correct. So we want label two is correct and label this is label what? Three to be incorrect or false. So we're gonna make this one two and this one three. All right, now it should work. Pancakes. Have you gotten hungry yet? So correct. If we remove one of them, it says incorrect. So if we have one but not the other. It will work because of that nice little and there. All right, so that's the tutorial for today. Um, you can apply this to a lot of things. Um, using that and is really helpful. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.